Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Science has pretty good answers for some really interesting things in life, like what Saturn's rings are made of, how we use each side of our brains, and the proper way to pack a suitcase. But we don't have all the answers. There are many weird phenomena that we still can't explain, leaving even the brightest minds and most educated humans scratching their heads. I'm not just talking about the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle or how black holes work either. Strange things are happening all around us, things you'd never even imagine. Number 5. Curse of Medusa While passing over northeastern Tanzania in 2017, the NASA's Landsat 8 satellite captures a strange image of the red glowing lake. The lake color appears so unnatural, it looks like runoff from an industrial slaughterhouse or something monstrous is lurking underneath it. But that's not all. According to local legend, the lake turns anything that it touches into stone, and that's the reason the lake is also known as Medusa Lake. Legend states that Medusa was once a beautiful, avowed priestess of Athena, who was cursed for breaking her vow of celibacy. Anyone who locked gaze with Medusa would be turned into stone. Medusa is beheaded by the Greek hero Perseus, and her blood drips onto Africa. A deeper investigation revealed that the Medusa Lake has not always been red. Previous satellite images reveal that its color is changing. Geologists are intrigued by the lake's strange chameleon waters and the legend of living things turning into stone. That's not all. Surrounding the lake, there is a pattern of stones. Researchers have found that these ruins are all that's left of what was once a thriving community called Engaruka. But what made the people of Engaruka abandon the site is what baffled the scientists. Does it have anything to do with the waters from Medusa Lake that was used to farm by the Engaruka community? Upon further inspection of the red water, experts found abounded amounts of cyanobacteria living in the environment. And it turns out they are red. Experts believe when the population of this bacteria increases, the lake is becoming more redder. But how will they explain the animal statues? Unlike those other lakes though, Lake Natron, Medusa, is extremely alkaline due to high amounts of the chemical natron, a mix of sodium carbonate and baking soda in the water. The water's pH has been measured as high as 10.5, nearly as high as ammonia, and this is what causes the animals to turn into stones. That's not all. Some people believe that this bizarre phenomenon has something to do with the volcano that is very close to the Natron Lake called Old Doño Lengai, Mountain of God in the Maasai language, which produces unique nitrocarbonatite lava. Experts still weren't able to find out the exact reason. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Number 4. Mysterious Lines a recently declassified 1972 spy satellite image of Bolivia's high plains shocks the archaeological world. The Corona satellite photographs a strange series of lines crisscrossing the plateau, stretching for miles and apparently leading to nowhere. Dig deeper and you'll discover that these are not roads at all, but white lines etched into the desert sand by hand thousands of years ago. A team of researchers at the University of Pennsylvania are searching for clues that could reveal who built the lines and why. Historian David Kruger has seen something similar, also in South America. He says that these lines are similar to Nazca lines that are located in nearby Peru. Peruvian archaeologist Torabio Mejia Chespe was the first to systematically study the lines in 1926. However, since the lines are virtually impossible to identify from ground, they were only first brought to public awareness with the advent of flight by pilots flying commercial planes over Peru in the 1930s. When analysts re-examine the satellite image, they notice the lines are not just random markings in the ground. They seem to form a pattern, like a spider web, and it's huge. Investigators then started to look into archaeological records for other signs that looked like spider webs, and what they found was creepy. They found an ancient people called Moshe, who lived over 2,000 years ago, who are very skilled engineers. Among their many rituals, Moshe worshipped a brutal and terrifying spider god called the Decapitator. This giant spider deity demands sacrifices of the most gruesome kind. Investigators consider if the lines in the satellite image were constructed as an homage to the Decapitator. 
but recent carbon dating of the lines in Bolivia confirms they were made 3,000 years ago, a thousand years before the Moshe people. Some archaeologists suspect that the lines may be hiding something altogether different within their intricate patterns. Investigators analyzed satellite images for clues as to what the lines could be connecting and make an intriguing discovery. When you really zoom in on these lines, you can see that it's not just a straightforward line. There are little tiny dots along it. Few archaeologists believe that these dots are actually tombs, which were built to bury noble people in fetal position, along with earthly possessions to carry them into the next life. But as of now, their origins still remain an unsolved mystery. Number 3. Strange Rings January 22, 2010 Meteorologists in Australia spotted a bizarre disk of glowing rings on their satellite radar images. It's like nothing they have ever seen. A strange, giant white circle hanging over the city of Melbourne. At first, meteorologists thought that there is no possible way that these circles could be natural. The disks span an area of tens of thousands of square miles across southeast Australia, reaching out to the island of Tasmania off the south coast. Prior to the appearance of the White Rings, there have not been any storms or violent weather. It's actually quite the opposite. The country is experiencing one of the longest droughts on record. At first, meteorologists haven't been given any serious attention about these rings, and most people disregarded them. The Australian media says these rings are perfectly normal, and it's all a conspiracy. But after Australia was hit by massive floods, and the floods reached biblical proportions, Experts believed that analyzing and understanding these rings is very important. Over a period of 30 days, nine more rings appeared over Australia. The spirals mystify Australia's meteorologists. Conspiracy websites, however, have lit up with dozens of breathless theories behind these strange anomalies. From alien involvement, secret military testing, to government weather modification. One theory gaining traction online is the belief the U.S. military has expanded its high-frequency active auroral research program. Others claim, unlike the failed cloud seeding experiments of yesteryear, conspiracy theorists claim HARP is engaged in a sophisticated form of weather modification, and that testing is also being done from a secret facility near Exmouth in Western Australia. Number 2. Hexagon Clouds Researchers in the U.S. claim they have discovered the answer to the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle, covering more than half a million square miles of ocean located between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. The term Bermuda Triangle was first coined by writer Vincent H. Gaddis in 1964. The area is notorious for, legend has it, the unusually high number of planes and ships that go missing there without a trace. In a new Science Channel documentary, Meteorologists claim that an unusual type of cloud located in the region could be behind a number of the disappearances. The hexagonal-shaped clouds, measuring between 20 and 50 miles across, can cause extremely localized high winds, which they speculate could be the cause of some of the previously unexplained incidents. These types of hexagonal shapes over the ocean are in essence air bombs, said Dr. Randy Cerveni of Arizona State University. They're formed by what are called microbursts. They're blasts of air that come down out of the bottom of the clouds and hit the ocean, and they create waves that can sometimes be massive in size once they start to interact with each other. However, some experts have disputed the meteorologists' claims. NBC's Kevin Corovo said, When I look at a hexagonal cloud shape in the Bahamas, this is not the cloud signature of what a microburst looks like. You would normally have one large to extremely large thunderstorm that wouldn't have an opening in the middle. Others have pointed out that while there have indeed been a number of disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle region, they are statistically relatively insignificant given the huge number of ships and aircraft that pass through the area. Number 1. Island Goes Missing For more than a decade, it has featured on the world's maps. Viewed from Google Earth, Sandy Island appears as a dark, tantalizing sliver set amid the shimmering vastness of the Pacific Ocean. But when marine scientists arrived at the island, they were in for something of a shock. It didn't exist. Where there was supposed to be a sandy outcrop complete with palm trees, a few coconuts, and maybe a turtle, there was merely blue undulating water. The Australian scientists, led by Maria Seaton, a geologist at Sydney University, had embarked on a voyage to study plate tectonics. They spotted that the enigmatic island lay along their route. 
but there were several puzzling discrepancies. Though the island appeared on the Google Earth map, there were no images of it. It had also featured for the past 12 years on the usually reliable World Coastline database, but there was no sign of it on their sea chart. The scientist added, this was one of those intriguing questions. It wasn't far outside of our path. We decided to actually sail through the island. Lo and behold, there was nothing. The ocean floor didn't ever get shallower than 1300 meters below the wave base. There's an island in the middle of nowhere that doesn't actually exist. Ships and planes have vanished in the Bermuda Triangle. Submarines have sunk without a trace. But an entire island? The disappearance presents investigators with a bizarre challenge. How to find a scientific explanation for an island that's gone missing? Here appear to be a few strong leads for scientists to follow up in their quest to solve the riddle of the missing island, which according to Google Maps should belong to France because it is located inside the territorial waters of New Caledonia. The Australian Navy's Hydrographic Service believes human error may be behind the mysterious discrepancy of Sandy. Another theory is that the Australian scientists may simply have been in the wrong place. According to multiple witnesses, Sandy Island was real. So where has it gone? With no obvious, logical explanation for the disappearance, the disappearance of Sandy Island still remains a mystery. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.